Global health has become a very important concept in health in general. There are many different understandings of global health. And uh, if one uses the term global health, one must aim to be clear. First of all, of course, for many people, global health means health in developing countries, the health of poor people and poor populations. But particularly in the last decade, global health has come to mean many of the transboundary issues in health that we are experiencing in a period of very rapid globalization. So we need to look at both these factors, health as development, global health as development, and global health as interdependence. And a major challenge of global health governance is how these two approaches of global health come together, how they are governed jointly, who is able to contribute to the governance of global health, not only nation states, but also civil society, the private sector, new kinds of organizations and institutions. And because of the increased importance of global health, there is a rise in what we call global health diplomacy. That is, that many countries have a new interest in global health issues. It affects their sovereignty, for example. It can affect their markets. It, of course, affects their populations. And therefore, negotiating health at a global level, for example, in organizations like the World Health Organization, but also in regional bodies like the European Union or ASEAN, and of course in bilateral negotiations becomes very important. And so this, uh, these three terms, global health, global health diplomacy, and global health governance, are in a sense a triangle uh, which helps shape what access we have to health uh, in a global world. The Global Health Program at the Graduate Institutes has three major goals. On the one hand, it wants to look at innovations in global health governance, and here it has a special focus on global health diplomacy. We don't only try to analyze the changes and the emergence of global health diplomacy, but we also aim to teach global health diplomacy. And we do that, of course, uh, in the context of the master's program, but also with executive courses, with uh, students from around the world, meaning mainly senior and middle-level professionals from ministries of health, ministries of foreign affairs, the private sector and civil society. We also want to look particularly at the power shift in global health, that is to take into account that global health governance is not only shaped by the health issues at stake, but is also shaped by the geopolitical shifts. And one of the areas we're looking at here is on the one hand, the contribution of Asia to global health governance, but also the contribution of Europe Europe has not been seen as a global health actor, and we are particularly interested in how the European community, the European Union, the Commission contributes to global health. And thirdly, because we are in Switzerland, uh, we are situated in the global health capital Geneva, we are interested in analyzing the role of Switzerland in global health, and we work closely with Swiss institutions in understanding better that role, but also in working together with them to have more capability and more capacity in global health diplomacy.